He's very pragmatic and very humble. But yes, he 100% saved my life and I'm completely indebted to him. You're about to meet Victoria and her family. Last year, she was one of 20,000 Australians to have a sudden cardiac arrest. But unlike 90% of them, she survived. It was in this living room that a young family was nearly shattered. 30-year-old Victoria MacArthur Stanham was alone downstairs one night last year when she had a sudden cardiac arrest. Luckily, her dozing partner, Tim, heard a crash, went to investigate and found her collapsed. She wasn't regaining consciousness and... Uh, <laughs> His surf life-saving training kicked in and he did CPR until paramedics arrived about 15 minutes later. It wasn't an emotional uh, experience at that time. It, I was very pragmatic um, about what was happening. The ambulance people came through and said, your son-in-law's a miracle worker. How important is it to learn CPR? The amazing people at the Victor Chang Cardiac Research Institute now have made it much easier to identify the people at risk of sudden cardiac arrest through a screening test. Victoria, her mother and youngest daughter, Indigo, have been diagnosed with long QT syndrome. I've had a pacemaker and a defib um, implanted into my chest to sort of act as an ultimate insurance policy. Leading researchers have developed a new electrical test to more quickly screen the family members of cardiac arrest patients. The real big breakthrough and the big advantage that we've got is that we can now do hundreds of these in parallel. We're no longer just looking at one mutation at a time. And Tim and Victoria had been in the middle of planning a very special event when their lives flashed before their eyes. Now, they're not wasting a moment. Five weeks later, Victoria married her hero. Please, 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 please learn CPR. You know, you'll never regret knowing what to do. 